In this episode, we're summarizing Season 2 of The Wire and why it is such an important and crucial season, especially for the overall message the series is making about society as a whole. The season ran from June 1st, 2003 to August 24th, 2003. Season 2 is the first season in the history of television where we see the multifaceted nature of how government officials, the legal system, unions, and street-level criminals all intertwine to paint a mosaic of crime. Some of the themes tackled in Season 2 include the decline of the middle class, the inevitable corruption of unions, the ever-fading nature of the American dream, how the choices our family members make ultimately affect us, how globalization eventually reaches and affects us all, and how the corruption in our law enforcement agencies make it nearly impossible to truly police crime. The Decline of the Middle Class The season highlights the economic displacement and loss of jobs faced by the longshoremen and other working class residents of Baltimore. Due to de-industrialization and changes in the global economy, many industrial and manufacturing jobs have disappeared, leaving workers with few opportunities. Labor unions, which historically protected the rights and livelihoods of the working class, are depicted as losing their power and influence. The Longshoremen's Union, in particular, is portrayed as struggling with internal corruption and ineffectiveness. This decline in union power leaves workers more vulnerable to exploitation. Viewers see the characters in Season 2 grappling with financial difficulties, such as the inability to pay their bills, provide for their families, or maintain their homes. Frank Sabatka and his family are emblematic of these struggles, as Frank resorts to illegal activities to secure his family's future. The characters in Season 2 often face moral dilemmas as they grapple with their economic challenges as well. Many are faced to make choices that compromise their values in pursuit of financial stability. This moral ambiguity is a recurring theme in The Wire. The Baltimore docks and the international shipping industry serve as a symbol of the changing economic landscape and what happens to those who refuse to adapt to that ever-changing landscape. The show portrays the port as a place where the working class once found stable employment and prosperity, but is now struggling to survive in a globalized world. The decline of the working class has broader implications for the communities in which these characters live. As economic opportunities diminish, social decay becomes more apparent, with increased crime, drug addiction, and a sense of hopelessness prevailing throughout these neighborhoods. Season 2 continues to emphasize the interconnectedness of various institutions and systems within the city. It shows how the decline of the working class is not isolated but connected to political, economic, and law enforcement issues facing Baltimore. Family and Loyalty Season 2 dives headfirst into the decline of the family and loyalty through its characters. Frank Sabatka, a central character in the season, is deeply committed to his family. He is driven by a strong sense of loyalty to his son Ziggy and his nephew Nick, both of whom are involved in illegal activities at the docks. Frank's actions are motivated by a desire to secure his family's future, and this loyalty leads him down a morally complex path as he becomes involved in smuggling and corruption. Frank's son Ziggy is a prime example of the decline of the family. He is portrayed as a troubled and impulsive young man who lacks a strong sense of direction. His actions and choices often bring shame and trouble to the Sabaka family, illustrating the challenges of parenting and maintaining family ties in the face of personal difficulties. Throughout the season, there are instances of betrayal and broken trust within the families. This is seen not only in the Sabaka family, but also in other characters' relationships. For example, characters like Frank and Nikki are drawn into illegal activities that put them at odds with their own family members within their own sub-families. The decline of the working class and economic instability place stress on family units. Many of the longshoremen and their families face financial difficulties and are unable to provide for their loved ones at all. This strain on family life is depicted through the struggles of characters like Nick and his girlfriend. Loyalty to family often clashes with moral dilemmas in the season. Characters are forced to make difficult choices between doing what's best for their loved ones and adhering to their personal code of ethics. Frank Sabatka, in particular, grapples with this conflict as he becomes more deeply involved in criminal activities. The season also explores how the decline of the family unit affects children. Ziggy, in particular, is portrayed as a product of his broken family and the troubled environment in which he lives in. His struggles with identity and his search for acceptance reflect the broader challenges faced by children in communities where family structures are eroding. 
Despite the decline of the family, there is a sense of community and extended family among some of the characters. They rely on each other for support, and this communal bond provides a sense of belonging and loyalty that partially compensates for the breakdown of traditional family units. Remember, I am summarizing this entire series as well as other popular works of literature, movies, and TV shows as well. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the next episode or series. If you would like to see the playlist of our summaries, including The Wire, click on the link in the description. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. If you find our content valuable, consider supporting us on Patreon if you can. Doing this helps my channel out tremendously. I thank you for your support. The Port and Globalization the Baltimore docks and the international shipping industry are portrayed as symbols of economic change and globalization. The show uses the port as a physical and metaphorical space where the effects of globalization are most apparent. It's a place that once provided stable employment and prosperity for the working class, but is now grappling with economic challenges and uncertainty. The season explores the global nature of the shipping industry. It depicts the movement of goods and containers across international borders, highlighting how Baltimore's port is part of a vast network of global trade. This theme underscores the interconnectedness of the world's economies. Globalization's impact on the working class is a central focus. The decline of traditional industries and the rise of automation have led to job insecurity and the displacement of workers. The longshoremen at the docks faced the looming threat of job loss due to automation and competition from other ports. The show delves into the illegal activities that can occur within the global economy. As a result, the smuggling and drug trafficking that take place at the docks are interconnected with the larger world of international trade. The season explores how illicit activities can exploit the opportunities and vulnerabilities created by globalization. Globalization often highlights the conflict between corporate interests which prioritize profits and efficiency and workers' rights. The shipping corporations in the season are shown as profit-driven entities that sometimes disregard the welfare of their employees. This conflict underscores the broader theme of economic disparity and the power imbalances in the new globalized world. The globalized nature of the shipping industry is exemplified by the shifting geographic focus of the show. While the first season primarily focused on the inner city drug trade, season two shifts its attention to the docks and the broader economic forces at play. This shift reflects the changing economic landscape of Baltimore and many other cities affected by de-industrialization and globalization. The globalization of the port has a direct impact on the surrounding communities. The economic challenges faced by the longshoremen in their families ripple through the neighborhoods, leading to social decay, crime, and a sense of hopelessness. That was season two of The Wire. To watch the next or previous episode summary, click on the link in the description or at the end of this video. If you found value in this video, please consider clicking like as that helps YouTube recommend the video to other viewers like you. I'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye. We upload new videos every week, so subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the like button as well. Click the notification bell to be notified of when we upload these videos. See you on the next episode of Culture Screen.